Hey, Chef Tom Woodbury here from the International Home and Houseware Show with Jennifer Bame, winner of Master Chef Season Two. Yeah. So, Jennifer, I have to ask, what have you been doing since Master Chef? <laughs> We've been doing quite a lot of traveling. Um, I started my own catering company. Um, my husband and I got married. Um, my husband and I have a restaurant called Arias Tapas Bar. We're getting ready to open up another restaurant called Dirt. Um, and we're getting ready to go to India, so we've been quite busy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, have you been to India before? This will be my first trip to India and really excited. So we have uh, a two-part series, cooking series going on over there and doing some television uh, cooking segments over there. So we're really excited. Outstanding. So uh, just, just a really, some really important questions. Uh, of course, they're all important, right? <laughs> Behind the scenes, what went on on MasterChef that you that, that didn't make the cut that you were wishing the whole world knew about? <laughs> well, everyone knows about my rivalry, probably with Christian. And honestly, it was really true. I mean, it was on set and off set. And he's like my brother. You just want to poke at each other and see who's best. So, uh, you know, he's a great guy and I wish him the best. But behind the scenes, we definitely poked at each other quite a bit. So all of that was real. <laughs> So, uh, as far as cook cookware, cooking implements, what's the implement in your kitchen you absolutely cannot live without? You have to have a great knife. If you don't have a great knife and your creativity, those are your two things you really have to come armed with because even, you can have all the education in the world, but if you don't have that creative edge and that love and passion from deep inside, it's not going to work. And of course, you need a really great knife because otherwise you're going to have a hard time really getting some great food out. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So while you're in that kitchen with that great knife, what is the most embarrassing thing that you've ever happened to you in the kitchen? Mm, gosh, the most embarrassing thing. I don't know if I can say it on television. Yeah. Well, this is this is the internet. You can say whatever you want. Whatever I want. Well, I actually have to say, um, actually cooking at MasterChef in the finale or the quarterfinals, I had a skirt on. They dressed me in a June Cleaver outfit and high heels. And I have to say, trying to get things out of the oven and you look over and the entire film crew is going, I'm like, my bad. <laughs> so it definitely was a little embarrassing for sure. <laughs> So June Cleaver, and you had to leave it to Beaver, huh? I, I, th th enough said. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. No, I'm kidding. Um, so what's next? Next, uh, we're working on our cookbook, and uh, like I said, we're getting ready to open up our restaurant, Dirt. We're looking at a couple different cities. Um, we're working with um, the Edge of Belgravia Knives. We absolutely love them. Working with Sous Vide, doing some things with them, and uh, traveling quite a bit. And we have the Mid-Atlantic Food and Wine Festival coming up next weekend, which you can see seasons one, two, and three chefs there. Um, there and Christian's actually coming, making an appearance, so it'll be an awesome time, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. Great. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us or standing up standing here up today to talk with us. Any uh, words of cooking advice you have for uh, our friends at The Daily Meal? Be fearless. Go into the kitchen, don't have any hesitation, and be absolutely fearless. Because honestly, it's just food and you can experiment and cre create. That's the best part about it. Thank you so much. Of course.